Some prep schools have multiple teams to include yours at South Kent. Um, what are the pros and cons of having a second slash developmental team? Um, the pros are if it's a true developmental team and that the director of the program and the head coach of the top team also works with those guys directly and just didn't recruit them to get them to your school to help your net tuition revenue, all that stuff. Um, it's a good, it's a good spot to be because at the end of the day, the college coach is going to call the director of the program and ask about that player, whether he's on your top team or, or your developmental team. Also, what is that school's idea? What's their development team? What's their schedule? What type of teams are they playing? Um, do you, does the coach value, are they moving kids on your development team who might have been a post-grad who's under-recruited but not quite good enough for your top team or a senior? Are you moving the development team players on to college basketball if that's what they choose to do? That's really important. So I guess to answer your question is you have to really do your homework and really try to understand what is that school's intended purpose for that development team? Yeah, my big question on that always, Chill, is can you place all those guys in the second team? Right. I, think, I know you I can. Think, I'm just saying these other schools that have these, like that's a lot of bandwidth to take on. So how do you see that knowing you got to place more players now? Isn't that a lot more bandwidth on your plate? It's a lot of bandwidth on my plate, but you have to have a really good staff. I think I have a great staff and people who are going to work every day, every week to make sure you're not only getting footage out on your top guys, the college coaches, you're getting your development team guys footage out. You get, you're inviting schools that those guys can play at onto your campus in the fall so they can watch them. As you know, Division three schools oftentimes move very slow because they know at the beginning every kid, whether it's a Division three player, high level or low level Division three, are thinking they're going to go Division one. So a lot of times those schools move slower and they wait till that kid doesn't get what they were thought they were going to get. But you have to get those coaches on your campus, footage out to those coaches as early as possible on those kids to make sure they get recruited. I always say to guys, there's, I have no problem. Uh, my kids are going to go to Kansas or Duke or wherever they're going. I don't have to do very much in their recruiting process. I have to help them manage the process. It's my job every day is to work feverishly for the guys on my top team who have been under-recruited and those guys on the development team who want to play college basketball to get them at a level that is going to be a good school for them that they would want to go to whether they play basketball or not. And if that's a fit, to make sure that's a place that they can go and play, not just go and sit. All kids, at the end of the day, when they get to college, they want a place that maybe not right now, but eventually I can play. 